Greetings and good morning, everybody. Welcome back here in another lovely podcast. In our podcast of today, we discuss some of the common questions about English language and one of the major ways where you can improve and challenge yourself. Now, maybe, maybe I'm saying maybe, you might not find anything interesting or new in this video because whatever I say right now might have been said before by my fellow teachers and friends who have been working in this field for years and years and maybe years to come. But let's think of the positive side. If you listen to me, maybe I might be a role model for you to give you the motivation to improve your English and become much better. Maybe I can trigger some inner thought in your mind that you might investigate, discover, or find a little bit more about, whether that's a recommendation to a TV show that you should or may watch, or a recommendation to a book, a textbook, or any kind of reading source that might help you improve your English and become much better. Now, as an Arabic language speaker, as a first language, in my mind, I always have this constant struggle with some of the sounds that we don't encounter in English, such as the P sound that we don't have in Arabic. And when I want to say a word that has the sound, I think, before I say it, because this word might be a little bit challenging to me. The reason is very simple. This word has a sound that we don't have in Arabic language. And because we don't have this sound, I need extra time to practice. I need to do some investment of good quality time where I can listen to the sound and do a little bit of practice. Maybe I need to speak with my friends using certain expressions and certain words. So I think you can calculate where your weaknesses are and building a plan accordingly. And uh, a plan that is written by a good uh, expert or a professional uh, speaker might help you a lot to improve your English and uh, make your English sound so much better. The idea is not about the quality of training that you get over the longer period of time, but about doing little of practice over a longer period of time. So if you take like 15 minutes of good quality time every day for six months, it is so much better than spending three intensive months of training and then disconnecting yourself from language. That is very important to bear in mind because the longer span you get exposure to language, whether that's through reading, through listening, uh, through communicating with people, the better speaker you become. This is a fact of any language that you want to learn. It's a fact because nobody acquires language by only reading. You need to activate it. And I always draw this analogy of uh, the similarity between workout at gym and the kind of training that you get in language. Because working out at gym is not about doing extra muscular effort at gym, but it's about the balance that you have be between the good nutrition, the good vegetables and fruit, uh, and protein that and carbohydrates that you take, you, you eat, and the good timed mechanical training that you do to your muscles. These two work 
in uh, unity to give your body the muscular uh, shape that you inspire to be. So language learning is about two major components, the good in nutrition and the good sources of learning. So you need to be very, um, as we say, nitpicky about the kind of sources that you uh, want to learn from. And I'm not asking you to become a professional in language to determine that. What you need simply is to see if, if this source, ask yourself, is this source helpful to me? Am I learning something from exposing myself to this source or not? And the good mechanical training. And for the good mechanical training, what you need to do is simply try to make a checklist of things that might activate your speaking, whether at work or at home or with your online um, colleagues um, or trying to partner with a conversation partner, whether that's a native speaker or a native speaker. Ultimately, that is going to help you improve your English and become a much better learner of this beautiful language. That was our podcast of uh, today or tonight. I hope it was useful and insightful to you to open new venues for you to explore this beautiful language. Again, if you have any question, please hit me up, write a comment on YouTube channel, and then we'll definitely start from there. Have a wonderful evening or wonderful morning. مدرب لغة ليت خالد